So welcome to this um, community call uh, dedicated to the, um, the open air content providers. So just before we start, um, uh, some information about how, how, uh, how we will organize ourselves and how can you participate. So the idea of these community calls is that we have like half of the community call, half of one hour, so 30 minutes we will dedicate to a specific topic. Uh, I will um, to, to a specific topic that we think are relevant for the, the, um, the time. Uh, so now we will dedicate our uh, 30 minutes to guidelines version 4 and then 30 minutes, 25 minutes to questions, to comments, a part to the presentations that we gave, uh, some clarification and then of course open to other issues that you also want to, to integrate. Um, so we don't want to make it uh, anarchic so I will be, I will invite you just to mute your microphone so for this first community call we are just testing how it how, it, how everything will work so we will uh, give you the possibility to uh, turn on and turn off the the microphones we don't want to mute everyone and then mute so uh, it, this is why I'm asking you to mute in order to to don't make noise for the for the the others the, the, that were presenting so but this is open so you can also put a question or a comment in the right moment uh, audio or you write it in the chat okay uh, this is we really want this to be um, participative so the um, the main objectives of, of, the, of the community call is to give you to provide more um, accurate information more detailed information in some of the improvements, some of the services, some of the the, um, the developments that we are doing in open air infrastructure, in the different services, or in the related topics, so interoperability guidelines, uh, control vocabularies, or, or other or other topics that are relevant for for um, the, the open air in, uh, infrastructure, let's say ecosystem that we don't we, we also depend on others. So provide some information, but also have your feedback for our service but not but not only to share also some relevant uh, developments in your in your um, uh, systems in your in your repositories or, or other kind of uh, research systems that are relevant for the community okay so it's really a participative um, uh, call that we want here so structure 30 minutes for a topic 30 minutes for open to all of you to, to talk. So this is why I, I so I invite you uh, you to um, to note your uh, questions and comments about this first presentation, and then you can make your questions at the end. It, it's better. Um, uh, so this is the way we will work. So in the the coming uh, minutes, I will share in the chat. Uh, um, a document for um, a link for um, the notes of the meeting where we will put uh, we will share the main comments that you are doing and the link for the presentation so we, I will share that in the in the, in the coming minutes um, but this first call this first um, in this first call I would like to use this first two or three minutes to to provide you some uh, information about recent developments so this we will use also this first part of the of the presentation to to share those the, the novelties let's say so I want to um, highlight three um, three informations I will share all the links here so the first one is I, th I think a, a relevant um, achievement that we made so we have now um, a public roadmap for the provide service uh, provide service with the 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 main service for the content providers where we have all the, um, the services and functionalities available so um, we have decided to create a, a public roadmap in order for you to be aware of what we are doing currently to improve the service and what we plan to do and and some things that we also considering so um, uh, maybe I can also share uh, my screen uh, no it's not working so but um, 
okay uh, we have this provide uh, roadmap uh, where you can see what is in progress what is planned what is under consideration you can also provide and make some questions suggestions here so some of the suggestions for example that we have here under consideration came from workshops that we uh, that we have organized recently for example in in coar in open repositories or recently also in spain and by the end of september so some some, some of the suggestions from the repository managers are or other content um, provider managers are here so you will be aware so the the link is public i will also highlight it here um, or my colleague andre will also do it so we will share this link here in the chat for you to know and we put it in the notes this is the first um uh, the first uh, information that i want to provide you um, then the second one is about some 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 small improvements that we did in the provide um, in the provide uh, dashboard uh, so things like uh, so we want of course to 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 work on a relevant uh, um, a relevant and uh, a big update in terms of user interface uh i hope that we can have that uh, in the coming uh, in the coming year but for now we are doing slightly changes also taking into consideration some of the of the suggestions from the um, the users so one of one the one that uh, so i will just highlight two one is this my data sources at a glance so uh, we have created this box here in the right side of the of the screen where we have some of the main members let's say of um, of your repositories uh, we want to make it more visible and uh, this is what we have in 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 in, uh, in the roadmap to change this interface but at least uh, you already can see in the first um, page your numbers the other uh, small enhancement but, but but i think it's important this is why i'm sharing uh, this is also about the um, in, it's it's, it's uh, related with the collection monitor so the collection monitor in provide is where you can see um uh, how open air is aggregating your um uh, content your um, the content from your repository or from your service uh, and uh, when we did that aggregation where when we did the transformation and uh, we have uh, had it here as you can see now in the screen uh, we highlight uh, which version of your content is indexed uh, and um, publicly available in our explore service so that's why for this specific repository the repository from university of minu uh, the version that is available is this one and it's I like it here in blue um, which version do we have we are continuous aggregating the content but you can be aware specifically in the collection monitor which uh, which content version is available in the in our uh, index okay this is what I would like to highlight from uh, the provide service and also uh, the last comment that maybe Andreas will also talk about so we have already the rules of the version based on the um, version 4 of the guidelines integrated in the validator so you can test uh, using the the validator tool in provide um, your um, OAI image interface against the the guidelines version for rules uh, so I think it's good uh, so we are in a um, a testing period let's say but it's uh, in production so you can use it if you find any any um, any bug uh, any issue that you think it's not working well just send us your feedback but it's already available so you can also test if you have if you are experiment, ex ex experimenting any issue with um, accessing the service um, login issue assessing the provide service this is also the right moment so my colleague andre will share the email and uh, and you can contact him directly or send a message here in the chat uh, because then we will try to find uh, what is uh, the problem uh, sometimes we have 
um, managers of repositories that cannot access because of the, um, the account is linking to other email that from someone that already leave the institution or a mail that uh, doesn't exist anymore. So try to solve these issues. So um, this first call is dedicated to the Open Air Guidelines version 4, Air, as we are in an important moment of um, uptake of these guidelines for, for, by the community, and we, and we want to share the, um, the specifications. So my colleague from University of Bielefeld, Andreas, uh, will present the, the main specifications and what is new in this uh, version 4 of the guidelines. And then we will have um, uh, use cases. You can also share your in the second part of this meeting. But we will have um, uh, some repositories in Spain that are already implementing these uh, guidelines uh, and exposing the content based on these guidelines. So Emilio, uh, from Spain will share what they have done for those repositories. Um, my colleague Jose uh, will present uh, what we are developing in, 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 in Portugal under the network of Portuguese repositories. So we will have a use case from a specific repository and from also an aggregator, a national aggregator. And then also the Latin America um, network of repositories, uh, La Referencia, will also share what they have in their plans. They, it's not a use case of implementation, but in fact, is that just to showcase that we are, that the guidelines are being used also in other parts of, of the world and what are, what, what they have in their plans. Um, so now I will uh, give uh, the floor to um, Andreas. Uh, so, just to um, move with the presentation. So, Andreas, I will make you presenter and you can do um, your presentation. So, we will start with Andreas from Bielefeld presenting the specifications and then we will have the use cases. If you want to put questions during the, the presentation, you can do it in the chat, okay? At the end, we open the floor to you also to make questions uh, audio. So, Andreas, the, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Um, and hello, everyone, from my side also. So, I will present uh, the guidelines, literature guidelines version four. Uh, it's coming out la end of last year. And I have the feeling that I have uh, a, little bit, a little bit more uh, slides here, but um, I think I skip some slides uh, during the presentation. Okay, guidelines and recommendations. Um, guidelines for, for a brief agenda is short overview and uh, very briefly uh, repeat about the aggregation and the literature guidelines version 4. Um, as you know, uh, the integration scenarios in open air, uh, we directly harvest it from repositories or from journals or we, we are harvesting indirectly from aggregators or publishers. You can climb um, articles and uh, we set uh, references uh, via personal identifiers. So um, there are a lot of um, types of repositories um, and these repositories have many types of uh, research outputs. Um, we have uh, the four a big four publications, data sets, software, and other research products. And we are hosting these uh, from institutional repositories, thematical repositories, also journals, publishers, from data repositories. And you see here a short overview about, about the connection that uh, some institutional repositories, uh, oh, by the way, you, you see my uh, mouse? Yes, yes, yes. You can, you can Perfect. Um, institutional repositories uh, 
provide information about publications, article preprints, also about data sets, also about software and so on. And these types um, will aggregate. Um, for these, we have uh, different guidelines. Um, first of all is the literature guidelines or now as institutional and thematic um, guidelines for repository managers, um, also for CRIS platforms, current research information systems, um, for data archives, for software uh, repositories and other research products. If you like, uh, uh, well, you can take a look on guidelines at openair.eu uh, for more information here. Guidelines version 4 overview. <clears throat> guidelines in general is um, are very good tools for repository managers to define and implement uh, their local data management policies and so on. And um, these guidelines give you um, the requirements for some OpenSS strategy of a European Commission or um, for, for other national uh, funders. Um, in open air, we uh, can harvesting um, from the beginning of this year, the open access content and also the non-open access content. And um, this is a switch um, in the content acquisition policy of OpenAI in the last year. Um, the guidelines have also allowed us to uh, meet some um, requirements for open access from the European Commission and um, uh, give you a more diesel, better, better quality on the metadata on these sites. What's new in uh, the literature guidelines version 4. It's based on uh, Dublin Core and uh, data site metadata schema. It uh, has a uh, separate metadata format prefix, ye underscore omer. There's no sets uh, that I must provide and uh, it's fully compatible with uh, the new co content acquisition policy. Um, the next is uh, the use, um, the consequent use of uh, contract vocabularies um, from the configuration of open access repositories. There are access rights, resource types, versioning, and so on. <clears throat> and um, we support in the new uh, literature guideline version for various of uh, different identifier types, uh, DOI, handle, ORCIDs, ISNI, um, for different types of uh, things of articles of authors of organizations and there are a lot of uh, personal identifiers around and the new guideline support these pits. Also new is uh, you can create hierarchical, hierarchical level um, by a, a container. Uh, this is part of an article can, is a part of a, or it can be a part of a journal or a chapter is a part of a book and a book is a part of a series and also a poster can be a part of a conference. So you can um, create hierarchical level um, on these objects. On guidelines of mayor.eu um, you can see the application profile. Here is a short screenshot <laughs> for this one. Um, the guidelines are also uh, 
published in, um, in Zenodo. You can read this document there. So what are uh, the metadata goals for these new guidelines? Um, there are uh, metadata to um, for, for more discoverable or citable citability. Um, so um, you have uh, an, an, an better quality on, on, on these metadata. We use um, the uh, core vocabulary for um, accessibility and reuse. Um, we um, take the articles in a contextual um, relationship with other pro, uh, other objects, uh, research projects, research um, artifacts, and so on. Um, and of course, it's a uh, bit for interoperability and reporting for these. Uh, first, I give some small um, examples here. Uh, you have seen the property is the field creator level is mandatory and what is the new element of uh, this is data site contributor or title mandatory and uh, data site title. Now, so um, for resource type, um, there's a specific OIA, OR uh, resource type um, with a, a separate resource uh, attribute. And um, these general type is literature, the core vocabulary um, type is referenced and the name of journal article. So there are a lot of um, more um, in the application profile to for discovery and citability. Um, why a citation title is one that um, the title uh, title name title name of this container. Um, is uh, in which this work is published. Um, also for volumes, for accessibility and reuse, uh, we have access rights uh, that are also its uh, data site rights and license conditions. Here are license conditions um, with attributes as with start day, uh, dates and uh, the URI of a creator. Creative Commons. Um, for reporting, we have funder references and embargo periods. Um, here, a short example for interoperability. Um, we have alternated identifiers. Here in the example, um, it's an alternative identifier in the URL, and you give give some well, it's in these ones. So for mining and downloading of full text, if the full text is available, is their OR file with access rights, a mine type, uh, object type as attributes, and the link of the full text. The implementation, as uh, Pedro said, is um, the validator uh, for the rule set of guidelines version 4 is released. It can be used in, uh, in the production inter environment and also in the beta environment. Um, data source registration updating uh, is on compatibility level. We integrate have the new compatibility level of, for the version 4 uh, integrated. The aggregation um, of these new uh, of these repositories that support the version four of the literature guidelines are in preparation. 
and uh, also in preparation is the visibility of these new data that I shown before uh, in the dashboards uh, I can explore or provide and so on. Um, here are some guideline references um, for the literature guidelines version 4. Um, you can contribute to these um, one uh, in different ways. Um, I like to highlight the um, the table between of guidelines and repository platforms. Um, this is an open table for comment, uh, commenting. Mm, this table has uh, the repository platform, the versions, and which version of the guideline uh, will, would support um, in these uh, software platform and versions. So um, we will share the links as Pedro said in the beginning of the introduction. And for contribution and feedback, um, we have a dedicated uh, Google Doc document that you can show what is also um, new and on, on questions, but also um, you need no account of to commenting or leave commenting about the new guidelines and uh, attributes and so on. For the other GitHub and annotate, you need uh, accounts. You can ask, send emails and uh, so on. You can uh, also you can contact the nuards. So that's. From my side, um, a short Many overview, <laughs> a short and quick overview about the guidelines version four and uh, the next, uh, I hope um, my colleagues will do presentation about the implementation of uh, these new application profile and attributes. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you also Milan uh, that have already provided here um, uh, a relevant input here about um, some dead links that we have um, uh, that we should uh, fix this. Okay, thank you. Uh, we can we, you can also share more uh, after. Uh, can, the... can I can I yes. can I ask? Okay, um, the the namespaces for um, a namespace of air dot eu xima or. Um, um, must not resolve. So we can declare uh, this namespace and this namespace uh, must not have an endpoint. This is an XML, um, you know, you can, I can give you the links to the W3C and uh, we can share this information, but these endpoints must not be uh, okay. available. So please share in the chat, okay. Yeah. And we will uh, proceed uh, with those use cases that I think it's quite um, relevant for us here uh, to um, to be aware then uh, what is being done to implement. Uh, for sure, we, we pick up these uh, three cases, but for sure uh, from you, we also have others that uh, can... Um, uh, let me check, I'm trying to... Uh, make just a presenter, it's not easy, make presenter finally, okay. And uh, now we will proceed with um, the case from um, Portugal, um, from our network of repositories in Portugal and Jose will, will present it. So, Jose, okay. the floor is ours. Yes, Can you perfect. see my screen? Okay. okay. Yes. So I will present uh, part of the implementation of the Open Air Guidelines in ROCAP project. Um, very quickly, what is ROCAP project? It's a national initiative in Portugal. Um, so it's a, a project that focuses on a network of scientific resources like repositories, journals, other portals and research data repositories. We also integrate recently La Referencia contents into our national portal, for example. And to integrate all these repositories and journals from the Portuguese outputs, 
we had from the beginning, so a little bit more than 10 years now, a content policy based initially on the driver guidelines and later on the open air guidelines. And we plan to continue with these last guidelines also as a, a content policy at the portal level. Um, we have also an additional particularity uh, is that part of these repositories and also journals, but the focus here is the repositories. We have a hosting service for this space and we have 28 repositories right now. Uh, so 28 repositories that we manage directly. So this, this is also part of a, a, a set of services uh, that has a, a common vision where we, we try to put the researcher at the, the, the middle of the, the context and then interact with other um, systems. So this is also the way we, we plan to implement these guidelines and the way we want to share all this information, not only at the repository level, but also through other services uh, in which we interoperate in this case. So our actual context at the national level is that we have right now uh, at our uh, hosting service, 28 repositories with the Space 5 version. Uh, so uh, our, our first uh, thought is to define that uh, we need to manage uh, the information we have right now. Another aspect we are trying to promote is to include as many more identifiers we can into the repositories right now to be able to expose that information in the open air for uh, format. Uh, by now we don't have yet all the information we need to be totally compliant, but at least we can have a, a great level of compliance even without many changes on the repository. So I will present the, the change we have done. And what we are, we are also working right now is to focus on the future and mainly on the use of the space seven, um, where we want to provide uh, this compliance by default on the new the space version. So um, this is the, the actual context we are working on the actual repositories we have and also work for a future update that will focus on that. The main implementations we have done uh, on this repository uh, is first on the way we input uh, the information into the repository. So the, the biggest one is the, the way we can now incorporate authors as an entity of the repository. So we can put uh, a person with an identifier and have a description of that. Um, and also we change a little bit some other fields and uh, also other options that we have uh, based on this um, recent guideline. And another aspect is to expose all this information in the new metadata profile. So basically what we have done is, uh, is a mapping of the existing fields we have um, on the repositories to the new metadata schema. Um, with some fields, we managed to introduce additional information. Um, and we also develop a, a mapping, an automatic mapping of the project prefix to an entity. So uh, usually we use the um, info repo uh, name. I will show you just after that. So the, the functionality to have a new user uh, as an entity is when you are on the, the space um, uh, form, you can uh, put a name and search for an identifier regarding that person. So we have two main data sources uh, in, in our repositories. One is ORCID and another one is Ciencia ID or Ciencia Vitae, which is um, a national identifier associated with a, a curriculum system. So basically we search for that name on these two systems and we have the, the possibility to choose from the results list and then add this to the list of the authors on the repository. When we do this, um, we can also include additional information that is not visible there. But for example, if you have a Scopus ID, a researcher ID, or any other identifier in ORCID or in your curriculum, we also include this uh, at this level. So this has been one of the, the main developments to allow the use of the um, 
the author identifier. Uh, another aspect is that we continue to manage the, the funding information on the repositories based on the prefix uh, from OpenAir that came from the, um, the, uh, the OpenAir API. Uh, so we had to manage an automatic way to uh, disaggregate this information to create automatically uh, an entity. I let here some examples of um, uh, a repository in production. And I will give you here some examples. So, for example, when on your or on your repository you have here a person that is identifier with this little icon, it means that this is an entity, and this entity on the user interface is shown this way. But when we go to the OIPMH interface, so we have the different forms of the name and also the different um, identifiers that are available for that particular person. Regarding the prefix uh, and the information from funding, what we do automatically is based on that initial prefix that we still maintain by now uh, and probably will change in the future, but by now it, it's the information we already have. We manage to expose that based on the different prefix we have. So uh, EC will be always the European Commission and the European Commission uh, always had this specific uh, uh, cross-ref funder ID. So these two information we put by default. Uh, then the funding stream you already know and then we have here the project uh, um, ID which means the award, award number and we expose all that information to that uh, by now automatically. In the future what we, we plan to have is a uh, functionality to search for a particular project and uh, have something similar to this, so instead of searching for a person, we search for a project. Uh, other aspects based on the existing information we have is, for example, we some some fields we get them automatically in the space, for example, uh, and then we have uh, all the information based on the, the guidelines like the version, the URL for the file, the different license and the date of the license, uh, the the new rights. Uh, access the new types also by now. So this is what we have already done. Also, we made uh, in some cases uh, a mapping of existing information for the new information. And for example, this table show us that we have fewer versions on, on the driver uh, versions vocabularies to the new one. So uh, it, it means that this new vocabulary is richer than we had before. And this is an example of the versions, but it's the same for the document types, for example. So additionally from the repository, we we'll also continue to manage this information later. So by now, for example, uh, if a repository is not yet compliant with the guidelines, we already uh, manage all the information at the portal level based on the Open Air 4 guidelines. So it means that Every document types we map to the new guidelines, uh, the versions also, the right access also. So the information that we expose at the portal level, it's already based on Open Air 4 guidelines. Uh, and all this information, we show it in two ways, the, for the end user interface, and then also through an API uh, for uh, integration with others. So the idea, this, this page is not yet in production, but what we will have in the future is uh, to put some identifiers regarding the authors on the search portal uh, or the, the license and the different types of information we already have. Uh, another aspect that it's very important in this process is that we um, use uh, the, the, the Harvester uh, software, which is the La Referencia Harvester, uh, to transform the information from uh, the basic open air guidelines to these new ones. So we transform some fields, we make some validations uh, to be able to show that information at the end based on this uh, um, report at the search portal level. So we do this for all the resources integrated in, in the portal and not only for those we manage. Also, at the portal level, you, we use all these values, and you have here some examples like the core types, uh, to be able to 
show some statistics about the, the, rep the repository, for example, in this case. And uh, we have a page that is based on that information. Um, we choose all this information we have show based on Open Air 4 guidelines. Uh, additionally, we also work on a, um, a working group from this space to be able to implement the Open Air 4 guidelines directly into the new this space, uh, where we, we try to incorporate the concept of entities into the to this space repository and also have everything that is needed to be Open Air 4 compliant when this space 7 is released. So this is the link where you can see all the, um, the meetings all the actions we do, etc. And um, why we are trying to push these new guidelines uh, for the repositories, for the publisher, the, the aggregators, and also on the repository levels, uh, it's because we need to be interoperable with all these systems and we need to manage uh, the information the same way. So this is why we try to define uh, like a, a a semantic level that will be the same for all the systems or at least will be more accurate than the, the information we had before okay so thank you if you have any questions you can contact us regarding these developments thank you uh, jose so if you have questions just type it in the chat let's see here now um emilio uh, that will share um uh, some recent developments also in the several repositories, in fact, in, in Spain. Um, making. Okay, perfect. Okay, you are already sharing the screen. Perfect. Thank you, Emilio. I cannot hear you. Can you check yes. this out? Okay, perfect. Okay, do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Pedro. Um, uh, uh, good. Good afternoon to everyone. It is. Um, you can present um, yourself. If you want. I don't. I, I. I'm just putting this more informal, but each of us can. <laughs> <present>. <laughs> Oh, okay, um, um, I'm Emilio Lorenzo from Abro Consultores. We work on the space uh, uh, repositories uh, on the Spanish and Latin American market, and we have made some adaptions to open air uh, for uh, on several um, the space installation. Um, uh, we we are going to present some some of the well problems on and suggestion that we can uh, make to, to to you about uh, the open air for um, uh, um, guidelines uh, how can uh, some uh, the space five and six uh, version can be adapted without uh, many mm, so, so many problems right okay um, I come to uh, yes. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the presentation uh, is uh, adapted from a poster we present some uh, five or six uh, months ago on the Open Repository uh, uh, Conference on Hamburg and we can see the, the material on this uh, URL uh, and basically that in that uh, moment uh, we, we have uh, we, we, we only made uh, uh, one adaptation of uh, uh, institutional repository of uh, Huelva University uh, that is uh, the space version six and uh, after that we have made some some other four or five implementation uh, on on the space five repositories uh, mainly in Spain right um, well uh, some of the the, the the thing that you have to, to take into account when you to try to to adapt uh, um, uh, an existing uh, uh, the, the space repository uh, um, uh, existing in, in uh, uh, because uh, well um, uh, uh, we uh, we have we have heard some some moments ago about the space seven 
uh, but uh, many of you are going to 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 coexist with uh, the space version four, five, or six on the on the next year. So uh, probably you have to 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 make some uh, major adaptation efforts to to comply with the new uh, guideline. Well, the first thing is that uh, well, one of the objectives of I think uh, um, um, the space version. Uh, so, sorry, uh, open air version four is to to uh, increase the 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 the, the, um, the association of authors to their uh, personal identifier. Uh, this is uh, a thing that uh, many funder agencies and many uh, other other agents as open air are, are 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 looking. And well, if uh, this. Uh, uh, we we forgot uh, we forget about uh, uh, um, uh, driver guidelines uh, about names and we have to to improve the precision of our, the identification of our authors. So um, uh, many of you have uh, probably are thinking or, or have already implemented uh, Orchid ID on the repositories for for their own authors. So you probably have to 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 to. To think on exposing that information uh, on 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 the OI image um, interface, uh, um, depending on the version you are using, on depending on the the design or decision that you have taken on the past, uh, this information will be located in well in entities as. Uh, as uh, the Portuguese example, or in authority models, or in other uh, solution, but uh, you have to think on on exposing that information as precise precise as possible. Um, you have also to, to make some you know, some big efforts into uh, well uh, uh, improve the 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 funder information that is available in your repositories. Now many of your or, or many of you has uh, are compliant with OpenAir version three, and probably you have the all the the old uh, well the all the the the, the info Europe grant agreement uh, syntax. Uh, um, OpenAir version four uh, is much more extensive, uh, demands many more information. Uh, in fact, uh, they has, you have to to plan for for uh, funder information entities. Uh, that's a, 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 a whole set of of information about uh, uh, who who is funding uh, uh, your 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 paper, your 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 items. Uh, so uh, you have to 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 make uh, some uh, big uh, uh, adaptation to. Uh, to to fulfill this this requisite, uh, uh, and then you have to plan for uh, you have to plan for new uh, description and vocabularies. Uh, uh, um, uh, you have the, uh, on on your repository uh, the old uh, um, uh, type the, the typologies. Uh, you have uh, the 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 the, um, uh, the, um, the version typologies and also the rights access right typologies. Uh, you probably have to well you, you have to to be compatible with the new core vocabulary. You have to to transform or to include or to uh, add these uh, typologies uh, this vocabulary. And also, of course, you have to 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 to, to adapt uh, the new um, uh, schema. Well, it's a it's an application profile. It's called uh, OI Open Air. Uh, it's the prefix of the namespace, and uh, and then you 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 have to to modify your your uh, your interface for 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 um, be compatible with these um, new uh, guidelines. Uh, well, um, talking a uh, little bit more into uh, into details. Uh, well, uh, uh, how do you uh, uh, plan or adapt your repository uh, um, uh, for for author information and, and mainly 
uh, also uh, also uh, the uh, Joao has talked about uh, he, he's exposing not not only orchid ID but also um, uh, research and and uh, in um, Portuguese uh, uh, CFAN identification well the the the, the the normal solution or the, the basic solution is to expose the ORCID ID. Uh, depending of, 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 of where do you store uh, your, uh, your that, that information, uh, um, uh, you have to, 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 to take some, some technical uh, solution uh, uh, depending on, on that uh, um, on that information, uh, you have to expose that information on the data uh, in a data site contributor element, with uh, with many uh, many attributes. Uh, you can even uh, um, uh, expose the affiliation of this of your author, etc. Uh, uh, um, on this space, this space five and six, the normal uh, the normal uh, way or the standard way of storing uh, this information is uh, at least on, on 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 more or less complete implementation is the so, uh, a new um, solar uh, 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 core called is called authentic cache solar um, well we have used that uh, that uh, um, that um, source uh, as, a, um, as 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 a generator of, of this identification, but but probably there are there are um, there are another uh, design uh, options to to fulfill this this requisite. Also, uh, as I told you before, uh, you have to to plan for a much more precise um, uh, funding information uh, instead of the um, the grant uh, agreement. Uh, uh, um, info a rapid semantic grant agreement information uh, well there, there there are now a, li a lot of information about uh, the the award number the funded information the 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 the, um, the isni or the doi information of the funder uh, just to to be more precise on the on that information uh, uh, this the, uh, uh, incidentally uh, this is uh, one of the um, of the uh, um, the aspect that uh, we um, uh, we we forget to to take into account uh, uh, in the in the University of Huelva implementation, uh, we we thought that some some uh, uh, some normal uh, uh, transformation will will be enough, but uh, we have found that probably we have to to to. Uh, to take this, this information from uh, from open air service uh, that uh, on the API or, or, or on other possibility that uh, Pedro has talked before. Uh, um, yes, uh, you have to 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 expose a, a different uh, set of vocabulary. Uh, the the decision. Uh, well, the, the the problem we we found here is that. If you want to keep the compatibility between OpenAir 3 and uh, of your repository with OpenAir version 3 and version 4, you have to to to, to expose a, a, a complete different set of typology and, and other aspects. So uh, the solution there is a range of solutions from from a double metadata to transformation to uh, to to, to lose even uh, compatibility, we, we take the, the solution of of only transform uh, on the on the on the OI cross wall uh, the, the 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 driver vocabularies into core vocabularies. So uh, we we have a, a, a some a loss of uh, of precision. I mean um, on on on. On driver typology, uh, the, there is uh, article journal, but the equivalent, uh, the equivalent or the correspondent uh, uh, terminologies on 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 the core vocabularies is much much more precise. Journal article, a, lo a lot of lot of uh, variation from uh, from from this vocabulary. Uh, you have to to think about it. Um, well, uh, at, at the end, you have uh, to to uh, to create a new um, point of uh, um, 
of harvesting uh, on, on Huelva, uh, we define a new context for 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 this uh, open air for compatibility and of course you have to define a new metadata scheme that is oie uh, slash open air and of course uh, yes we, you can follow this 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 um, this um, link and to to have a look to to how these uh, these records uh, uh, appears of course in this in 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 other in other context of the, of the oi interface uh, still uh, exists the compatibility with open air 3 and even the previous version and thanks for your attention and uh, we will um, uh, answer your question on the next minute thank you very much perfect uh, Mili, thanks for your um details i think it's uh, quite useful uh, uh, because these are the type of issues that others also have um, so lontaro um, let's close this um, round of presentations with um, your your presentation from the latin america referencia network okay thank you all uh, i will not present exactly a use case but uh, the the actions that we are taking regarding mm -hmm. gui uh, guideline version version four, uh, I will uh, talk about uh, what we have done uh, in guideline three. We had some infographic and with the main aspects, and provided that information to the nodes. As you may know, uh, we have a national node structure, so. We, we do dissemination to the national nodes and then the national nodes do the same thing, repeat the same actions that, uh, to the repositories. So we have provided webinars for national nodes uh, and the La Referencia Technical Council representatives, sorry, and uh, also webinars directly to the repositories in some countries. And that action were about uh, version three, but we are moving now to to uh, in the in the past months to to the to the version four. Uh, our team uh, as, uh, is actively uh, is active and uh, expert groups and reviewers of the version four, and we also uh, are we are finishing a review and a translation. Uh, to Spanish for the, of the guidelines, and we will dis disseminate that document soon in the same format that uh, Opener is, is doing. Uh, we have the, and so we are planning and executing webinars for the national notes. We started some month ago, and we will continue that that actions during uh, the next year. Uh, over. Uh, telling uh, uh, to the nodes about and, and the repositories about the core vocabularies and all the elements and the main changes that uh, that involves the evolution to guide to guidelines version 4. Uh, in the other hand we are doing some actions uh, in La Referencia software. Uh, the national nodes are using the, the, the our platform and we use uh, 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 also in our regional uh, aggregator so we are building a new version uh, with with uh, with the adding of the the concept of entity and relation model uh, sorry. Sorry. sorry sorry okay. sorry nothing nothing sorry sorry okay 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 uh, so uh, we, we are we are doing this with the software to 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 push for the implementation of the next version we think that uh, we can use the new version of the software uh, to to accelerate the the adoption of the new guidelines uh, by providing some services to the repositories uh, to to migrate the legacy metadata from version 3 to version 4 i can do uh, we would do a proof of concept of this of this uh, idea in the next month, and uh, hopefully, 
I can present. I will present some some results in the, in a, in a, in, a, in a call if you like. Uh, so we we will provide the the version for Spanish translation in December. I think that final revision is 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 now. So we will provide uh, and publish the the results the the document in December. Uh, and we are also adapting our recommendation to the La Referencia notes, including uh, all the news uh, on the, on the ad adoption of the, the version 4 guidelines. And we will do a, a continue the dissemination and uh, for to the national levels and then webinars to the repositories during the next year. Uh, so I think that that's all. Uh, this work, the, the work on gu in guidelines, uh, the person in charge is Paola Solevich. She, uh, she's connected. Uh, she's our person in guidelines, and she is the the one that 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 participates in the groups. And uh, also, I think that she can ask question if you like. So thank you very much. Great. Um, thank you. Um... Lontaro, and thank you also, Paula, because I know that it's a presentation from, from both. Um, so uh, I, I hope it was uh, useful for you to have these um, specifications of, of, of the guidelines in these uh, use cases, or to be aware also that uh, there are, are work um, behind Europe, and uh, we are close working with uh, um, at least 10 countries from uh, Latin America. <clears throat> 